Hello all. Uh, if you were asked if I could do a video on installing VMware Workstation under Arch Linux, uh, it's fairly uh, straightforward now uh, since the uh, kernel is now mainlined, as I say here, so we, you don't have to patch the VM CI or the VSOC sources. And if you're running a kernel lower um, up to 3.0, one eight, uh, you don't have to do any uh, patches for the kernel. If you're going to use uh, kernel 319, which I am, you have to proceed and go through these instructions to patch it. Okay, um, I'm going to give you some nice tips here. You just, uh, you can either do sudo sh or just type in su password and then run the VMware whatever version is dot ben bundle and some flags such as console uh, capital I for ignore errors and required and and user licenses agreed with console so if you put that together required with these two commands and ignore errors um, it will run silently and will only ask mandatory questions and for the when you get the, to the part where it says Etsy in it dot D just type that in and that's pretty much it uh, first of all you should go to uh, download the latest VMware workstation and try for free or if you have a license whatever um, you can only get the 64-bit uh, version of workstation so you download and it's approximately 400 or so megabytes and just an example, if you're using uh, Linux LTS, you don't have to go through the patching. You just run the installer. So, best way is open a terminal. In my case, it's Control Alt T to open it quickly, and just change change directory to where you have it. I have mine in Downloads, and I'll ls to show you here. You just copy that. And just do a sudo sh and then you can paste that in and you can tag uh, two dashes uh, console capital I ignore and um, errors and uh, what was the other ones and user licenses agreed that should be good enough you can uh, talk Tack on required as well. So just press enter and extract the installer. And then we'll ask you a couple of questions. Do you want to ask for uh, check for updates? I'm going to select no here. Uh, statistics sending no. And uh, if you're using this as your user, just keep just press enter and press enter, enter, and press enter to continue. So it's very, very, very uh, straightforward installation. Okay, so after you entered the required information and stuff, uh, it uh, brings you back to your uh, terminal, and install was successful. So move on. We have to, if you're using a 319 kernel, as of this video, you have to uh, just very, again, it's very simple, copy and paste that into your terminal. And press enter and from here on in I've run this all as super user so clear the screen as you type in your uh, super user password and then again just very simple copy and paste which is yeah it's it's a cheat in a way but it's also um, hopefully pretty much error free okay so you just keep from the wiki, Arch Linux wiki, you just follow the instructions and keep uh, copying and pasting these in. And then you finally rebuild the modules. And finally, just rebuild the modules and you should see uh, everything uh, working. The VM net modules uh, up and running. And as you see here, everything is done. So we should be good to go. And... Uh, to manually start it, you could uh, type in etsy init.d vmware and the USB arbitrator uh, stop 
start, stop, restart, status, etc. However, I found in the past that uh, creating a system service for both of these, um, for VMware and the USB, is just uh, create them basically. So you just copy this, exactly what it says here. And you can open a text editor. You can use Nano, Leafpad, Gedit, Vim. I'm going to use Leafpad. And then Control Shift V to paste that in. Press Enter. Obviously, it's blank. So we'll just uh, take here the service instructions here. Let's copy that. And go to the blank VMware service. Control S to save. And Control Q to quit. And the same thing for the uh, USB service. Once you do that, um, you just enable the service services. Sorry, system CTL enable VMware. And the other one, just again, just sim simple copy and paste. Now this could change um, at any time. That the uh, you don't have to do the extra compiling for the B VMnet. Um, service but uh, as of this video that's what's uh, is required now if you go down to the bottom there's some troubleshooting stuff and extra tricks but if you want to uninstall you can do for example VMware dash installer dash out the list then you can whatever the product is for example be VMware uninstaller dash u uh, VMware dash workstation dash dash required or, or you can use the console as well if you don't use the console, it'll just come up and show you the GUI. And then you disable and remove the services. Alright, so... Whatever you're using for a menu, uh, it should be... You can search for it. VMware Workstation. And here it is here. <clears throat> and we'll take a look. It takes a bit of time to start. And when you get to this, if you don't have a license key, just say, I want to try VMware... Workstation 11 for 30 days. You don't have to put a real address in. I, I usually put a no at uh, <laughs> thanks.net and press OK. OK, and that's it. Once you've uh, entered uh, whatever you wish, you can put in your email address to get promotions and stuff. But that's it. It's uh, You have 30 days a trial uh, to evaluate uh, VMware Workstation. And I've messed around with this before, and it works very well. Uh, you can install a variety of um, Linux releases or, of course, Windows, and I don't know about uh, Mac or anything, but I think if you've used this before, or even VMware Player, which is similar, um, you would know how to do that anyway. Okay, so I hope that helps the viewer out and anybody else that uh, wants to give uh, VMware Workstation a try under Arch Linux. And that should do it for this one. And thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.